Hello and welcome to the 12th lesson of the AGR SketchUp course. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the rotate command. In order to activate the rotate command, we can go to this icon and click on this icon, or we could go to tools and find the rotate tool over here, or we could press Q on our keyboard for the rotate tool. In order to rotate an object, we, uh, we must first select an object. So I will select this circle and then press Q to activate the rotate command. And we first click to identify the center point of the rotation. And then we click on the first point of rotation. We could click on uh, the circle or any point that we want. And uh, we can now move our cursor so the object rotates according to our need. Uh, as you can see, for 15 degrees, we have a snap. This just clicks and on every 15 degree, it will have a snap. So uh, this is very useful for us and we can change this later on in the unit setup. So I will type a value, for example, 45 degrees and then press the enter key to rotate this circle 45 degrees according to this point. And if we want to copy this circle, we could select this circle, click on the center point of rotation, and then click once, and then hit control on our keyboard, and then move our cursor, and then we could type a value, for example, we want it to be like 45 degrees according to the first circle. We could also have like a polar array inside of SketchUp. So uh, we could, let me create a circle over here and then I will select this circle and then hit Q on keyboard and click on this center point of rotation. And I will click on this uh, object or click on this circle and then hit control on our keyboard. And I can rotate this circle to like 30 degrees and then hit enter. And then now we can type X and then type a value, for example, the number of circles that we want it to uh, be copied for a polar array. So for example, I want 10 of these circles. As you can see, it created 10 of these circles. We could also use this option to create a circular array as you can see, this is not a whole circle, but we could copy this circle in a whole circle. So how can we do that? So for example, I will select this um, circle and then hit Q on our keyboard and click for the center point and click once again and then hit control and then type 360 degrees. And now I will hit divided by, for example, 10. And this will copy this circle 10 times in a circle and the angle between all of these 10 circles will be all the same or we could type for example 15 or we could type i made a mistake now and i forgot to type the division so this created a uh, created 10 of these circles in in a 15 degree angle so i will hit 360 again to create a whole circle and then type divided by uh, for example 15 or divided by 20 or divided by 5 or 6 whichever number you want now to see how we can change the snap that we had for rotation we could go to window and then model info and then click on this unit units over here and now you can see that we have two parts, one for the measurement units and one for the angle units. Uh, and you can see that in the angle units, we have a 15 degree over here and uh, we have an enable angle snapping over here, which is enabled. And we could change this to, for example, one, five, 10, or one of these numbers that you can see over here. And also we have the measurement units which we can change. So, so for example, we have one centimeter snap uh, for drawing a line. So I will show you how this works inside of SketchUp. 
But there is also other types of lengths. So for example, we have inches, feet, yards, millimeters, and centimeters or meters. Uh, and also we could uh, choose decimal, architectural, engineering, fractional, anything that we want. And also the area, we could uh, define the area according to inches, feet, uh, squared inches, squared feet, or anything that we want. Or also the volume, we could change it. And uh, we have also a precision for the length, area, and volume. So we could change the number to, for example, three decimal numbers, four decimal numbers, or we could uh, leave it as it is with the two decimal numbers. So uh, let me show you what the lens snapping does for the one centimeter inside of SketchUp. So I will close that window and when I zoom in and hit L on keyboard and if I zoom close enough you can see that the line draws according to one centimeters inside of SketchUp so it has a snap. We could disable that lens snapping so this will create a continuous line without these snappings. But uh, this is very useful so I will let it be. Uh, I could also choose according like to uh, one meter so this will create so let me show you like model info units and we would uh, let it be like for one meter you can see that it creates a line according to one meters it has a snap according to one meter so i will let it be as like one centimeter and then hit enter on keyboard and now this will move back to uh, how it was before and the next thing in uh, about the rotate command is that we can change the angle of a line so for example we have a line over here with 10 meters length and I will select this line and then hit Q on keyboard and click on this point on an endpoint of a line and then click and then click for the first point of rotation and I can now type like 45 degrees and this will create a line which is 45 degrees according to the red axis or if we have a square or a rectangle and now I can select this line and hit Q and click on the center point of rotation and now I can rotate this line to deform this square or rectangle or maybe we have a volume so for example maybe we have a cube over here and now I can select the upper face of this cube and hit Q and hover my mouse on the midpoint of this face and then move down so it will show a dotted green line and now I will hold shift and now I can click on this midpoint and this will place the center point of rotation at the center point of that face so now I can move and rotate and click and rotate this face to for example like 45 degrees and also I can do that again if I want to create various shapes. Another great feature of the rotate command inside of SketchUp is that you can define the direction of your rotation by moving our window so I will orbit around and as you can see we have the front view and now if I activate the rotate tool you can see that the protractor turns to green and also if I turn to left I can see that the protractor turns to red or if I uh, see it from the top the protractor is in blue so we can change these directions according to the view or we could click and drag on a cent on a point so for example I, I want to uh, move this line or rotate this line I could select this line first and then hit Q and then click and then move drag the mouse to uh, whichever position you want so I could uh, move it in the green direction or red or in the blue direction I will move my cursor in the green direction and then release the mouse button and now I will click on the first point of my rotation 
and click once again or type a value so for example 45 degrees and hit enter and this will rotate that line for 45 degrees or for example we can choose the rotation axis according to a line so for example i will select this face and hit q and click and drag and place this protractor on that line or perpendicular to that line and now i can click for the first point of rotation and just rotate this face and also i can hit control and click and then type x like for example 30. as you can see it made a copy of this face according to this line so this concludes the 12th lesson of the agr sketchup course i hope you enjoyed this lesson thanks for watching take care bye bye